All right, spiel part four for Invaders 4. We're going to talk about the bullets and specifically the bullets changing the values of other objects' lives. Okay, so we want it so that the invader bullet will hit the cannon and do damage. To do this, we need to change the value of the cannon's instance variable life. What is the difficulty in doing this? And the answer is, it's really weird for one object to change an instance variable of another object. It's a kind of a bad thing. We don't want... Okay, so the... In so I'm going to change your brain. Mwahaha. So he's sending out his evil brain waves and forcing the cannon to change the value of his instance variables. Well, we don't do that. We don't we don't allow one object to change instance variables of another object. Okay? Because in other applications that could cause like big security breaches and stuff like that. For us, it's just something we don't do. Okay, so instead, so we say the bullets say, "Hey, will you change your life value by one or whatever his damage uh, variable instance variable is right so will you lower your life by one sure no problem so instead of him this guy trying to automatically go in and change this guy's instance variables he actually has to ask and when we want one object to change the value of another object's instance variable we do it through a method so this guy ask this guy through a method to do it okay and we already looked at this yesterday but I wanted to uh, I wanted to explore it further so in the canon we already did this we made a method called do damage right and life equals life by minus however much damage is being sent to it right here from whoever whatever object asked the canon to do damage right and Okay, so write a new method for the cannon so that damage is done and one life is taken away. The image should change to the image that has sustained damage. Okay, so we already looked at this yesterday, but I kind of want to just explain it more. Okay, now let's look at, at the bullet. Um, so, oh, I want to just explain this too. Look, notice the if statement. Hey, if you're at the edge of the world, then remove the bullet. Otherwise, do this. If we didn't do this, there, this would cause trouble. Okay, answer this. Why do we need to write the statement in this order? Because if... You didn't put this in an if else. You can't do both things. You can't get to the edge of the world and remove the bullet, and then check also check and see if there's a collision. It's like, well, how can you check to see if the bullet is touching an object if he's already been removed from the world? Okay, that always causes a little issue. Um, okay, so if you want one actor to be able to change another actor's instance variable, what do you have to do? And the answer is, you have to do it like this. Let's see if we can find it here. You have to do it like this. You have to do it through a request. You have to, number one, get the cannon. Cannon, cannon equals cannon. Get one intersecting. So you have to get the cannon into a box, right? So we have him in a box called lowercase cannon because we the bullet touched him. And then once you have the guy in the box, then you can ask him. You say, hey, cannon, do damage, damage, and he the cannon already knows how to do damage because that is a method. So, in, so whenever we want one guy, like an invader bullet, to change something about another guy, like a cannon, we do it through by getting the guy in a box, and then by using a method call. 